here reacting to a video that I think has a pretty simple answer to the question being asked. Well, who would win in a fight? Indominus Rex versus a Skullcrawler. Now, me personally, I would say Skullcrawler, and I'd say it wouldn't really be a battle, but let me know what you think in the comments. The video is by Godzilla Guy. The Jurassic Let's get into it. many horrors of the average human. I don't know, I feel like Indominus to ever exist. I like them. Such as the Tyrannosaurus Rex, but against the Skullcrawler and, and many, many more. I don't know, let's well, see. With that being said, the Jurassic series also has some of his own custom dinos. You know, he's doing a little a comparison, a deep dive into it. There's one that so. shines above them all. Let's see. Needing the power of man, raptors, Rexy, and the Mosasaurus to take it down. I do but like the Indominus, the Indominus Rex, though he's sick. And Skull Island the oldest monster island of all time, having many re-envisions of it throughout its almost 100-year lifespan. A lot would but have to do with where the fight himself, takes place. There's a beast that has taken the spot. Like, is it Hollow that, Earth? Being the Hyperforce out of the Skull Crawlers. Sorry, V-Rex. You're a close third, though. Halo and actually, which version of the Skull Crawler? Guy. Smaller guy. Today, one? we're taking a look at the two most dangerous beasts from the past few years, the Indominus Rex and the Skull Crawler. And our end goal is to put them into a ring and figure out who would come out on top. I'd say Skull Crawler. the past few years. Let me know what you guys yes. think in the comments. I'm aware. I'm two years late to this, but we did see slack. that. It's okay. It's two all good. Ago, I'm still making videos like this. Hello, everyone. It is Godzilla Guy. Today, we're going to be reviewing <laughs> the 2021 Godzilla vs. Kong. A little change. Of these figures of both of them. Um, this is just I a like it. review, in my opinion. Remember, my opinion. You know what? Like, while making the script, I rewatched the entire video. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It's probably one of my better figure videos. So, there you go. You beautiful. Watch that, by all means, go for it. I'm super excited to do this video, as it is my first Jurassic video and dinosaur video in general. So to any Dino nice. fans watching, I already have quite a few other ones planned down the road. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure you subscribe. And I hope I don't make anyone too mad. Oh, speaking of but subscribe, there's going to be a little goji pop so up in first the bottom up, right right rules. now. In general info, you should do what he's saying into account when this fight and hit starts. that subscribe button. Personally, I appreciate you. Rex. Shout out to goji Personally, in the bottom this right. A fully grown version, so slightly larger than the one we see in the film, but I'll cover measurements when that time comes. But now to discredit some claims. Firstly, she did not survive a rocket launcher straight on. As the rocket itself did not hit, but she did That's take facts. the explosion, so she does get did some take credit the for explosion. that. Also, just to note, I've seen a lot of Jurassic fans say that Endom should be able to pull off any of Rexy's past feats, thanks to the fact that Endom beat Rexy, but you have to keep in mind, this is a much older and weaker Rexy, who has not been able to get proper exercise That's and also facts. dinosaurs in a long, And long it's not time. a skull crawler. Like, now, let's be clear. Now, I understand grown should be stronger than what we see on screen, but we can't say for certain how much stronger. So we're still just going to use her feats that we see outright, but adding in her new measurements. Really, the only thing you could increase over time would be her battle IQ, as she would have fought more dinos at this point. True. Speed, which I'll cover when it comes up. Now, onto the skull crawler. I want to say maybe far size, advance, too. Maybe it gets saying, a little bigger. Oh, he, he was able to throw Kong. He took a boulder to the face. Blah, blah, blah. No, my friend, that was the skull devil, aka Ramorak. We're looking at these skull crawlers. The okay, see, well, that, there you go. There you go. Small as the ones we see on screen. That's the one I needed to I needed to hear and that. Finally, Which one are we actually reviewing? Swampy forest area. So, so it's the smaller so skull crawler in this environment and use it to their advantage. So, with that being said, let's go over the categories we'll be fighting. If it was any of the bigger ones, strength. It's a wrap. Speed, just eat durability, IQ, battle IQ, abilities, agility, overall size, physical weaponry, and an odd category, but I'll explain when that time comes. We're diving into it. Leverage. So, leverage. without further ado, in many days of writing, Skullcrawler's got leverage. That's two years late. Today, we answer who would win in a fight between Jurassic World's Indominus Rex and Skull Island's Skullcrawler. I like that. First up is strength. Who can lift more in this fight? Start with the Indom. Lift now, more? She has some good feats, such as Skullcrawler breaking the gyrosphere and smacking Blue so hard she cracks seemingly a stone pillar. But I know what you're here to see. In the movie, the Indom showcases two times where she overpowers and then rolls over two dinosaurs, those being Rexy and Ankylosaurus. The Jurassic World Ankylosaurus weighing somewhere from four to eight tons, and Rexy Ooh. weighing in at nine. So overall, a very good showcase, but there is one thing I Strong. haven't seen anyone talk about. That being the humans in Jurassic World fully believed Indom got out of her cage, meaning they fully believe she can lift her own body weight. And I'll readdress it in more detail later. But Same. But assume that the younger Indom weighs around 10 tons, and a fully grown one would weigh around 12 to 14. So they truly believe she lifted herself up. That Big girl. Tons. So a fully grown version should be able to do the same. So overall, she can easily lift nine tons, possibly 10. And if you really want to wank her, 12 to 14. Next up is the skull crawler. The skull yeah, crawler go was ahead, break go ahead and tell us. Triceratops skull, completely and utterly destroying it. He's going to be stronger. A, bomb. a thousand That's really about it for the smaller ones. But they do have their third limb, that being their tail. But again, the young ones don't really utilize it in a useful way. So yeah, strength goes to the... Come back. I, I mean, yeah, he can support his own weight. Why? Oh. There we go. Uh, well, that's yeah. a little unfair. But, I mean, yeah. 
if the skull crawler can hold up its own body weight, that being 40, 40 tons to 100 minimum, tons, bro. The way it does, that means I was about to say, that didn't really the add up. Crawler. There we go. Speed. Now, the engine, Speed's world, also going to be skull crawler, in my opinion. Hour. Now, normally our Not even an opinion. Would come in and ruin everything. Again, the indom should be slower due to the fact that her muscles aren't growing as fast as her weight. But that's not always true. This is assuming the indom is actually growing up properly. If a habitat provides a healthy growth I like how it's going food, into it here. That along with the animal getting plenty of exercise, which in turn promotes healthy muscle growth, then in that case, the indom will not only keep its speed of 30 miles an hour, but possibly get even faster. Most likely up to around 40. Okay, now into the 40 miles crawler. per hour, but now that's not a skull crawler, speed, big fella. But given their stride, shout out Goji Center, it should be naturally faster. That along yeah. with the fact that they literally Thousand. jump around like it's nothing, Thousand literally percent. propelling themselves at times, I think it's pretty clear when it comes to speed, the skull crawler has the endo beat. I'm trying to Next tell you. is durability. The I know these things. The many great feats in durability. Firstly, she was able to take gunshot fire not only to the face, I'm saying Skull Crawler's more durable, bro. Now, He's had to go exactly through more things, was. you know? It's still a great feat. Fight dangerous Just creatures. Just modern gunfire like a champ in the raptor chase, showing no signs of pain. And as we said at the start, she took an AT-4 rocket launcher explosion with, again, really no visible damage. That's true, course, too. She took many bites and slashes from Rexy and the raptors. But her best feat is shown when she no-celled an Ankylosaurus tail swipe. That's also very true, actually. Bone with ease. Now to the Skull Crawler. He was able to take 50 cal fire with no issue. Right and to the face. And a strength feat, it's also a durability feat. And that's 50 that cal. That easily the skull crawler broke the massive triceratops skull. But there is an issue. The skull crawler is only durable on their skulls. Everywhere else can cut pretty easily. That's true. And as you'll see in physical weaponry, that's going to be a big issue for the skull yeah, crawler. Yeah, I guess Indo so takes that one. Durability is the Indominus Rex. Yeah, that makes now sense. Now to IQ. I don't really think I need to go in depth on this one. The Indom was able to outsmart humans at some times and... Yeah, Skullcrawler's just kind of an idiot. So. Indo definitely takes the smart. Pretty easily is the Indominus. Rex. You don't even have to explain Next it. Next up is Battle IQ. Now the Indo is pretty easy to answer. That being that she's fought humans and Ankylosaurus, Apatosauruses, Raptors, Rexy, and at a young age fought, killed, and then further ate her own sibling. Now the Skullcrawler. Wow. <laughs> now we see outright that they fight Kongs and kill Skier Buffalo, but then you have to remember these guys live on Skull Island, which is full of monsters and much more that, dangerous. Are more than happy to throw hands at any point in time. So for battle IQ, while it is skull a little cannon ish, it would be I pretty close though. To say the skull crawler takes this category. It would be, Stamina. it would be pretty well, close. It really depends on which Ooh, one damn. has gamer subs in their system. God, that was about as smooth as sandpaper. Now to the skull crawler. The skull crawler possesses prehensile tongue and tail, vocal mimicry, burrowing, and olfactory system. I think I got that right. Which allows them to pretty much just. I don't know what that means. To be real. Oh. So when it comes to abilities, it's okay. a tie. Next up, it's agility. A little tie on the I don't abilities. Really think I need to cover this one. Agility skull would be skull crawl. To this, a thousand percent. Yeah. yeah. Next up is their overall size. A fully grown endom comes in at fifty feet long, twenty point six feet tall, and weighs size. See, I don't, I don't know this tons. one because it's a small. The slightly crawl. larger juvenile crawler would come in at forty five feet long, fourteen feet tall, and a bare minimum of I mean, forty tons. Doesn't when seem very small, size, you know. <laughs> the endom is larger. The skull crawler weighs much more. So for size, it's a tie. Next up is physical weapons. So Whose basically what I'm hearing dangerous. is that Endom's probably going to get horns, obliterated. Quills on her head and razor sharp claws and teeth. The skull crawler has claws, needle thin teeth, elbow spikes, a whip like tail with spikes on it, and a hardened skull. So when it comes to physical skull weapons, wins that too. And now finally, there are I would leverage. say skull crawler. Now, skull crawler wins well, that one. As it sounds, what can they do to give themselves a leverage? Start with the Endo. Now as we addressed the durability portion, he does the have the camo. Endo the skull does. Is very weak everywhere else. And thanks to the Endom's insanely sharp claws, she could easily tear through the skull crawler's skin. The other advantage she has is her bite, which when we look at their jaws again, she's so got a nice Goji bite, Center, but so that her bite would be her best one has got to be that camo. Again, allowing her to dig into the skull crawler's flesh. Now into the skull crawler. Now one thing off the bat is her head slam. If the skull crawler can land one of these on the Endom, it's wraps. I mean, Triceratops are known for how strong and dense their bones are, and seeing how easily the skull crawler destroyed it, yeah, that's it another would fact. Easily kill the Endom. Another thing is while yes, the Indom could dig into the skull crawler, the skull crawler won't go down. The only way to kill a skull crawler is either with fire or complete disembowelment. Yeah, you so gotta you gotta kill it, it to kill it. To you know what I'm saying? Lots of work. And finally, the most important part of this battle, making it worth the three-year wait, is all thanks to the killer chameleons. Now, what do I mean? Well, in Skull Island, there are killer chameleons, which, as you would guess, can camouflage like real ones. Now the skull crawlers, besides the actual full-on titans like Kraken, Camazots, and Kong, on wasn't Skull a very Island, good camo the there. Strongest and most dangerous thing there. And of course, due to the amount of them that inhabit Skull Island, the skull crawler will have had to come across a chameleon and fight it to the death. That's most true. So already have basis, a little, little bit of experience with this. They may have grown able to pick up on camouflage things. You know, so in those easier. camo While wouldn't work that well. In Doms, it's pretty close. So the Indominus Rex's most useful ability, that being her camouflage, will now be much less effective. So skull crawler wins, basically. Let me know who so you picked in the comments. In this fight, Let's see who he says is going to win. Pulls through in this category. 
So, with all the stats in play, who, who won wins? What? Who wins the overall? Indominus takes durability and IQ with ease. The Skullcrawler takes strength, speed, battle IQ, agility, and leverage. And they tie it on abilities, overall size, and physical weaponry. So, with all this info in so play, five to two? the winner by just barely. Just barely? No. Nah. Skullcrawler's strength, speed, and battle IQ will help it win. I wouldn't say That'll just barely. The Indominus Rex not being durable enough to disembowel a Skullcrawler fast enough without herself sustaining serious damage. Is the driving factor on the skull crawler barely skull crawler wins let me know if your pick was correct in the comments shout out to godzilla guy again i, I like the way he went through all that i will see you guys tomorrow though thank you for watching with me i love y'all goodbye